Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look at an awesome homebrew game for the PS Vita and this one is called Project Void and I just came across it off the website here off Vita DB and it's one of the coolest games I've seen for the PS Vita uh, as far as homebrew goes and it's just really beautifully designed and unfortunately the only release we had for this game was back in 2017 and it's just pretty much a space shooter game and I just got done killing this guy I wanted to kill him first uh, before I started recording because it does get kinda crazy and the physics about it of uh, this game is a little different and you're gonna have to use both analogs to kinda move around and there's just a lot of different controls uh, we have missiles and you can also shoot using your uh, L trigger or L button at the top and pressing circle will launch the missiles directly to your enemy but it does take a lot of generator energy as you can see at the um, at the bottom there and pressing X gives you a free look or a free mode where you can go around and take a look at all the different things around you which is not much just a bunch of rocks or comets pressing X again will take you back to your ship and so yeah I wanted to take a look at this game and I'll show you here very quickly how to install it it's fairly simple all we have to do is download the VPK and run it through our Vita shell and install it and good to go so let's go ahead and get started with that so let's exit out of this game and let's go to our Vita shell let's open that up and for this demonstration I will use FTP client just because it's a lot easier for me uh, to keep my uh, remote joy not remote joy light but my uh, screen recording going on here for my PS Vita and what you want to do is press start and make sure you have your USB device uh, selected to the proper uh, location and I'm running off a PS Vita 1000 so I do have a option to save it on my memory card or on my SD2 Vita which is an adapter that allows you to have more capacity on your device and select button I'm gonna make sure to have it on FTP and for all you other users there you should use the USB connection just because it's a lot easier and more efficient so we're just gonna use the FTP here let's go back by pressing start and now we're gonna press select and now we have the FTP server running and for a USB connection as soon as you connect it you will have your uh, window pop-up of the USB drive so let's head on over to our desktop there we go and I'm gonna open up my FileZilla here this is the FTP client I'm using quick connect to my Vita there's a new version I'm just gonna skip that Head on over to the first link in the description and that will take you to Vita DB. Here is Project Void version 0.1.0. And some cool screenshots here. And you can just hit download VPK at the bottom. There we go. Let's show in our folder. Perfect. And now what we want to do is just copy this into the root of your USB drive. If you're on USB connection, all you have to do is just copy it on over to your USB uh, drive. And for the FTP client users, I'm going to go under our UXO folder. And I do have a VPK folder here. And just drag that into there. Since I already have it, I don't have to really copy it over. And now we're going to head back onto our Vita. Let's hit cancel. Let's go find our VPK open up the UXO or UMO wherever you have it installed uh, let's go into our VPK and you should see project void there it is and it's 40.31 megabytes so just follow the prompt instructions to install it and head on over to the game on your main menu here and it should look like this project void so the controls on this game is a little bit different and they do show you all the controls here before you start the game 
and it says this project is work in progress working in progress or work in progress whip <laughs> code name project void and our navigate through the debug menu is our d-pad and the 3d strafe right left up down is the left analog the ship's orientation and aiming is going to be our right analog <clears throat> and to toggle pause to toggle pause and free move cam unpause and ship cam is going to be the X button toggle friction no friction is going to be triangle toggle auto aim manual aim is square and front touch screen manually select a target and acceleration is going to be L and R is going to be shoot and reset the scene is going to be the select button and the start button is going to be show and debug console so let's go ahead and run this game okay so once you start you will have this like yellow ship attacking you and I am moving around with the left analog and I'm aiming with the right and what you want to do is just press circle and that's going to get you like these rockets to directly hit them and if you press if you press uh, square it's not gonna really follow the um, the enemy here oops so yeah it's a it's a little it's a little tricky to get the controls to work on you here and acceleration the L button really doesn't work if I press L oh and now now it's working oh okay okay so for some reason when on my first go at it it wasn't working oh is he already dead oh no he's not nice so if you shoot with uh, R it will go straight to them now if you press square again you're gonna have to like manually lock on right and if you press it again it should lock onto your enemy and blast him to hell. <laughs> and there we go. I don't know if this guy. You see what happens when you hit the. Um... See, I'm hitting the L and now it's doing this. I wonder if I do manual. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens with this. It was working and now it's not. So, yeah, this guy is dead. And on our left side of the screen, we have engine power and we have four engine powers. Once those are all destroyed from your enemy, you will get wiped and you won't be able to move at all. On our left side, we have the recalibrate and it looks like the cannon cooldown and the master engines and at the top we have the debug menu very interesting uh, let's see rendering options let's see we can change this to 60 frames let's turn off the fog full metric fog and perhaps we can run this at 60 frames oh look at that isn't that beautiful look at that isn't that nice wow that's a huge difference from 30 right so yeah you can change it the graphics so it's much more smoother and I should have done this in the beginning of the gameplay here but it's fine we'll work with what we got right guys and you can always reset it by pressing select and then you'll go fight that guy again, your enemy, wherever he shall be. There he is. Where is he? Shooting at me. There he is. There he is. Let's lock on. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I like it a lot. I just wish, you know, these developers can stick to their projects. Um, who knows? Maybe the guy, you know, suffered through something. I don't know. But hopefully he's okay. 
and maybe someone else can jump on this project and finish it or add more features to it it seems like it's finished I, I would like to see like levels and stuff like that and I want to give these guys a hard time because they are you know these these games are free and so yeah that's basically it for this video guys uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of this game this is really fun I love it love the graphics the ideas there Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below with any questions or what do you think about this game. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you on the next one.